made a burrito using that leftover Taco Bell burrito. I've been munching out on this here burrito. Burrito. Guys, it's here. A day foretold by the bad YouTube cooking prophecies has finally arrived, and you know what? I'm kind of scared. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is it. Look, I know I throw around the word worst on this channel quite often. I'll be the first one to admit it. It's a fine word, but, uh, this is it. This is the worst thing you're ever going to see involving cooking. Really, the worst thing you're going to see involving anything. And it comes by way from none other than the man himself, King Cobra. Now, we've seen Mr. Cobra eat a lot of stuff stuff on this channel that no human has business eating, but the video we're going to be watching today is going to make all of those other videos look like child's play. Today, uh, we are watching Mr. Cobra eat a roach burrito, as in a burrito that is infested with roaches. So yeah, that is really awesome, and honestly, I'm really looking forward to it. If you have a weak stomach, I would recommend maybe sitting this one out, because I'm really not joking here. We're all about to witness a man, or, or a beast at this point, really eat so many roaches and seemingly not even realize it. Why? Well, because this is how I pay my electricity bill, so I don't really have much of a choice. So uh, sit this one out if you want to, but I'll be here watching a man eat roaches. Stay in school, kids. Let's begin. Please subscribe. Made a burrito using that leftover Taco Bell burrito. Four pieces of bacon fried Spam. Cheese. Spicy fish. Hot sauce. It was a ghost pepper Melinda's hot sauce. Bacon ranch. Alright, so even if there weren't roaches in this video, I still think this creation would be video worthy. So you're repurposing multiple day old Taco Bell to make a burrito with a uh, spicy fish. Did I hear that correctly? Spam and a uh, ranch. That sounds delicious. Loading a Taco Bell burrito into a chimichanga that has fried Spam and bacon in it. The footage of it making it was not the greatest. It's just about done baking in the oven. Okay, um, what is that? Was he trying to kill this burrito? Why are there three dozen toothpicks in it? Was it fighting back? I mean, if you were to show me this frame right here and ask me to guess what I'm looking at, I think I'd say a booby trap from the Vietnam War. I mean, this is not even really recognizable as a burrito. I used a bunch of toothpicks to hold it together. Just like Taco Bell chimichanga food inception right there. But it's got the spicy fish, the fried spam, cheese, bacon bits, another burrito in there. So that's going to be pretty tasty. I had to lower the oven rack so it could fit the burrito in there with all them toothpicks. Cobra, you've got like a foot of clearance above that burrito. I think it would have worked on the second rack, but hey, what do I know? Also kind of begs the question, whose preferred method of cooking a burrito is the oven? I mean, to be fair though, I guess when you're working with one that weighs seven pounds, this might be the only way to go. Now that it's nice and crispy, we're going to add some cheese and sauce to the top. And bake it in the oven until the cheese melts. Sprinkle some bacon bits on top of that cheese. Okay, look, I'm gonna say something that's kind of crazy here, but I want you to at least stick with me for a moment, all right? I've seen this man cook at least a dozen times at this point. I've seen how he uses cheese. Based off what I'm seeing here, I think this man has been cloned. This is not the original King Cobra. That is like six shreds of cheese. The Cobra I know? You wouldn't even be able to see the burrito anymore. And only one kind of cheese, and it's not nacho? Something's up. Put this back in the oven. The cheese is gonna melt and get a little crispy on top of the shell. At least show you some of this action right here. All right, so somehow after this, he takes it out of the oven, cuts it in half, and then completely forgets about it until the next day. How? Well, I don't really know. Probably because he's been eating too many roaches. I can't imagine that's good for your memory. The video just cuts from him closing the oven the next day. Most of these videos of him cooking are compiled clips from people who watch his streams. I don't really know where to find the uncut video, so this is really all we got, so, uh, sorry. Cut it in half. Look at that greasy, delicious looking burrito, all stuffed with goods. I'll be munching out on that all day, man. We'll try it here in a second. Just wanted to give you a close up of the goods. The fries. 
All right, so I've got to be honest, I really appreciate the instant bug replay. I'm not sure the experience would be the same without it, but yeah, on the right there, you can see what are a couple, maybe even a few, little roach friends crawling around Mr. Cobra's burrito. I mean, can we just talk for a moment about how even if there weren't roaches in this thing, it would still be terrible? I mean, have any of you guys ever had Taco Bell the next day? The items at Taco Bell are designed to be eaten within about five to six minutes of you ordering it, and that includes the time it takes for you to pay and go through the drive through Eating Taco Bell that's been left out overnight, that's a death wish. Not to mention when you've reheated it and added spicy fish to it. If anything, the roaches might actually be making this better. Fried Spam's in there, bacon bits, fish, cheese. Fellow YouTubers, it's your boy King Cobra JFS. I've been munching out on this here burrito. <laughs> How do you not notice this little guy? I mean, do you think he's doing it for the vine? Do you think he's aware of it? Surely not, right? Everybody has a limit, right? And I think everybody's limit is not eating cockroaches, even for YouTube content. I took a couple bites earlier and it is simply delicious. This massive chimichanga action. Oh, look at that. Cobra, I'm looking at it, and I'm pretty sure I'm watching it decay in front of me. I mean, do you guys think we're getting pranked here? This guy has taken, like, all of the things you don't eat after they've been sitting out and has put them into one. You've got fast food, fish, eggs, and dairy products, all of which have been sitting out for over a day at this point, and this guy is just going to town on it. I mean, we've got to consider that we haven't actually seen him take a bite yet. I think we might be getting pranked here, people. Look at that deliciousness. Yes. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right. Never mind. It looked like it caused him physical pain to take a bite out of this burrito. Why would you continue to fight such a battle? Just go back to Taco Bell or make a fresh, you guys can't see me, but I'm doing air quotes, burrito. Why would you want to eat this? Delicious, spicy, packed with protein and calories and greasy love. Mm. However, I wish I would have cooked it for a little less time. But other, outside of that, it's not bad. I wonder what would happen if I airdropped this man like a vegetable. If I Santa claus a cucumber into his chimney, what would happen? Spontaneous combustion? Would the cucumber sense a disturbance and go back up the chimney? I mean, seriously, how do you eat this and then say, eh, not bad. This is food you would feed to like a captive, someone you were personally imprisoning. This is not the food you feed yourself, Cobra. Well, guys, did I do it? Have I finally found the worst cooking video on YouTube? Because I feel like I have. I don't know how you can get much worse than this. Day old Taco Bell that's been turned into a spicy fish, bacon, egg, and ranch chimichanga that has then been left out for a day to be infested with roaches and then eaten. How do you top that? I don't think you can. I think we've reached the peak. I'm I mean, unless somebody decides to eat, like, sewage, you know, things that aren't inherently food, I think this is it. My work here is done. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it. It's free. It won't cost you anything. But for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye. Subscribe.